Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Biochemistry Concepts. This video is about heme catabolism or heme degradation. It includes formation, transport, uptake, conjugation and excretion of bilirubin. Formation of bilirubin. The lifespan of red blood cells is approximately 120 days. So, after 120 days, the older red blood cells are taken up from the circulation and degraded by the macrophages of the reticuloendothelial system, particularly in the spleen and liver. So, this degradation liberates hemoglobin. This hemoglobin is further degraded to produce a protein part globin and this globin is hydrolyzed to amino acids and the amino acids are channeled into body's amino acid pool whereas the iron which is liberated it is reutilized and the iron free porphyr ring is converted to bilirubin. Out of 100% of heme which is degraded to bilirubin 80% comes from red blood cells and the remaining 20% from immature RBCs, myoglobin and cytochromes. How much amount of hemoglobin is degraded per day? About 6 grams of hemoglobin is broken down and resynthesized in adult humans per day. Now coming to fate of heme or bilirubin production. Microsomal enzyme heme oxygenase in the reticuloendothelial cells cleaves the porphyrin ring of heme. During this reaction, the cyclic tetrapyrrole ring is converted into a linear tetrapyrrole, that is, it is called as biliverdin. And this ferrous form of iron is oxidized to ferric form and it is released during this reaction. And this released Ferrous iron after getting converted into ferric form is taken up by the transferrin. This heme oxygenase utilizes NADPH and oxygen. Along with iron, carbon monoxide is also released in this reaction. Heme oxygenase catalyzes the cleavage of the alpha methanol bridge, which is linking the pyrrole rings 1 and 2. Alpha methanol bridge is liberated as carbon monoxide. This bilirubin is further reduced to bilirubin, a red yellow pigment, by an enzyme called as bilirubin reductase. This enzyme also requires NADPH as the coenzyme. How much amount of bilirubin is produced per day? About 250 to 350 milligrams of bilirubin is produced per day from hemoglobin and other heme containing proteins. Approximately 1 gram of hemoglobin produces 35 milligrams of bilirubin. This bilirubin also acts as an antioxidant. Transport of bilirubin to liver. Bilirubin which is formed is insoluble in plasma so that bilirubin as such cannot move in plasma to reach liver. For this, bilirubin forms a non-covalent complex with albumin in plasma. So, albumin binds loosely with this bilirubin to form albumin-bilirubin complex. Once this albumin-bilirubin complex is formed, as it is polar in nature, it can move freely in the plasma. One molecule of albumin can bind two molecules of bilirubin. 100 ml of plasma can transport up to 25 milligrams of bilirubin. Hepatic uptake of bilirubin. So, when albumin bilirubin complex reaches the liver, that is sinusoidal surface of the liver, bilirubin is taken up by the hepatocytes. The uptake is an active process, for this energy is required and also it requires a carrier protein. Within the hepatocytes, bilirubin binds to a specific intracellular protein called as ligandin. Binding of ligandin to bilirubin prevents the escape of bilirubin back into the circulation. Conjugation of bilirubin in hepatocytes 
Inside the hepatocyte, two molecules of glucuronic acid are attached with bilirubin to form bilirubin diglucuronide. It is also called as conjugated bilirubin or direct bilirubin. UDP glucuronic acid, it serves as the activated donor of the glucuronic acid. In this reaction, bilirubin reacts with one molecule of UDP glucuronic acid to form bilirubin monoglucuronide plus UDP. This reaction is catalyzed by UDP glucuronyl transferase. The same enzyme catalyzes the conversion of bilirubin monoglucuronide to bilirubin diglucuronide. When this bilirubin monoglucuronide reacts with one more molecule of UDP glucuronic acid, it is converted into bilirubin diglucuronide. Excretion of conjugated bilirubin into bile. Hepatocytes secrete the conjugated bilirubin into the bile canaliculi from where it reaches the bile duct. This transport is energy dependent process. Bilirubin is transported against the high concentration of bilirubin in the bile. This step is a rate limiting step in bilirubin metabolism. Fate of conjugated bilirubin in intestine. Through bile, conjugated bilirubin enters into intestine. In the intestine, it is acted upon by intestinal bacteria. So, in the first step, the bacterial glucuronidase removes the polar glucuronic acid from the conjugated bilirubin to form free bilirubin. So, bilirubin glucuronide acted upon by glucuronidase, it forms the bilirubin with the release of glucuronic acid. So, this free bilirubin is further reduced to colorless tetrapyrrole called as urobilinogen. Out of 100% of urobilinogen which is formed, 20% of urobilinogen is absorbed from the gut into the portal circulation. Now this urobilinogen which entered into the portal circulation has two fates. One is some part of it is returned to the liver through hepatobiliary route. It reaches the intestine again. So, this is called as enterohepatic circulation. And second is the remaining urobilinogen enters the systemic circulation and transported to the kidneys. It is oxidized to a colored product urobilin and excreted in the urine. The normal color of urine is due to this urobilin. So, we have seen what happens to the 20 percent of the urobilinogen. Now, coming to remaining 80 percent of the urobilinogen which is present in the intestinal lumen. So, this 80 percent of urobilinogen is reduced to stercobilinogen. So, this stercobilinogen is excreted in feces 250 to 350 milligrams per day. So, when it is exposed to atmospheric air, this stercobilinogen is oxidized to a colored product called as stercobilin. 